and that one hits Judge. Couldn't get out of the way, so he'll take first. Dangerous situation there. He got a chip fracture in his right wrist with Judge. His trigger for his swing is this move right here. Yep. It's this right here, mm -hmm. which is very wristy. He swings violently. That that is that is a whip action on that bat, and that's gonna take a while for him to adjust. Coming back, you're not gonna be pain free. Look like Aaron not tracking it real well. But you could see some of Judge's frustration. And Aaron Judge is very unhappy. And Judge walks slowly to first base. Might have hurt something. I think it was his side? Yeah, that's oblique territory, and that is not good. Your core kind of moves everything in your body. If you sneeze, you cough, it feels like you just got knifed. Well, I've had that injury twice in my career. This guy's big and powerful, just like I was. It's going to take a minute because he has so much torque. Wild swing and a miss. I think the league is adjusted to Aaron Judge a bit. Fourth strikeout of the night. There's just something a little off at this point. If you talk about two types of injuries that you would not wish upon a hitter, it's a wrist and it's an oblique. It sucks right now, but uh, no, we'll get through it. Believe it or not, Judge hit just a second pulled home run of the season last night. Here's a look at how his uh, power number so far this year compared to the last two years. Of course, he's been dealing with a plethora of injuries uh, on the field, of course, and of course the distance is down, having a huge effect on him. Judge is a huge dude, a big guy, much like Frank Thomas here. <laughs> yes, and his sir. approach at the plate has been similar. So what have you noticed about his approach at the plate that may have an effect on what he's doing? First, I want to say he's healthy again. Mm -hmm. Second, it's true talent. The biggest, stronger man in baseball with this tremendous amount of talent. But I can relate to what he's doing at the plate. I was very similar. I always looked to hit the fastball from center field to the right field line. Mm -hmm. And I was able to handle that fastball this far inside to this far outside. Mm -hmm. So he has a tremendous advantage with his size and strength. And as for him sending him hit a curveball, it's like a cookie coming to him because <laughs> the guy's not afraid to hit the ball deep into the zone. Mm -hmm. He's a unique generational talent. I don't think there's anyone else in baseball, baseball capable of doing this. Mm -hmm. And uh, the best is yet to come for this big fella. Well, I mean, just on the demonstration side, because I've seen you do it back in the day, back with Oakland. Mm -hmm. I've seen Aaron Judge do it here. I think what Frank's talking about is he has the ability to take that fastball on the inside part of the plate and almost catch it like Derek Jeter-esque, right? right. Kind of like that inside-out swing that could push the ball because his normal fly balls are home runs. Mm -hmm. The thing that he was doing back in the day, which what he's doing now, which Frank was saying, he's healthy, right? right? When that oblique tears off the bone, that's a lot of work. Yeah. What you're seeing now is like Frank says, taking that fastball the other way, but extending on these breaking balls, these sliders, these curve balls, right? You have more time to catch up to that baseball and extend on it. So instead of catching that ball deep, like he's hitting in Yankee Stadium each and every night, now he's starting to use the entire field. And an Aaron Judge using the entire field is a dangerous man, baby. And that's a big, big injury for a big guy. And the Yankee fans love to see him healthy again. But did he fall in love with that short right field porch? Did you think that might have happened? Well, I think that? about that because I, I think he has two, two different game type swings. The Yankee Stadium swing and the on-the-road swing. On the road, he can be more aggressive trying to pull the baseball because the friendly convives is not the same at all these ballparks in the American League. But at Yankee Stadium, he's locked in to drive the ball from center field to the right field line. Only from personal experience? Yep. Obviously, baby, I'm a left-hand hitter. I'm coming way up on the plate here because the only thing I'm doing at Yankee Stadium is trying to hit the ball over here. Right. Yes, you can fall in love with that ballpark. There's no doubt about it. But let's be honest. We could be playing a Yellowstone Park <laughs> and Aaron Judge still be hitting home runs. <laughs> right now, he just needs to worry about making contact with the ball in the right position because any time a man of that strength can make contact with this part of the barrel, that baby's going to go a long way.